Hi, and welcome back to ASMR Nightly News. I'm Anna, and I will be bringing you all of the latest news updates this evening. Firstly, I would just like to thank you for watching tonight. We received an incredible amount of positive feedback on our last episode, and we are extremely glad that you are enjoying our show. As long as you keep watching, we will continue to stay on the air. First up tonight is the weather report for the next few days. A heat warning is currently in effect as we head into extremely high temperatures and sun over the next three days and potentially into the weekend as well. If you are outside, please do not forget to wear SPF as the UV index will be very high. We are advising everyone to stay inside as much as possible and to stay hydrated at all times to avoid heat stroke or heat exhaustion. If you do not have air conditioning but are trying to stay cool, Cold or frozen drinks work great, as well as dampening a t-shirt in cold water before wearing it. It is believed by many that these extremely high temperatures are the result of global warming which leads us into our next story for this evening. We have been hearing about global warming or climate change or climate crisis quite a lot lately and for good reason. In case you are still unfamiliar with global warming. It is a long-term rise in the average temperature of the Earth's climate system. This rise in temperature has a greater than 95% probability of being caused by human activity during the mid-20th century and beyond. From NASA's website, the planet's average surface temperature has risen by about 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.9 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century, a change driven largely by increased carbon dioxide and other human-made emissions into the atmosphere. Most of the warming occurred within the past 35 years with the five warmest years on record taking place since 2010. Not only was 2016 the warmest year on record, but 
eight of the 12 months that make up the year, January to September, with the exception of June, were the warmest on record for those respective months. The ocean has absorbed much of this increased heat with the top 700 meters or about 2300 feet of ocean showing warming of greater than 0.4 degrees Celsius since the year 1969. The Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets have decreased in mass. Data from NASA's gravity recovery and climate experiment show Greenland lost an average of 286 billion tons of ice per year between 1993 and 2016, while Antarctica lost about 127 billion tons of ice per year during the same time period. The rate of Antarctica ice loss has tripled over the last decade. These are some astounding facts, and many believe that we as humans are far overdue in making a serious change to the way in which we live. You may be wondering what you as an individual can do to decrease your carbon footprint. And you can go to our website to find a comprehensive list of suggestions. But we have come up with just a few to share with you this evening. Consuming local products as much as possible helps to reduce the transportation emissions of those products as they do not need to be transported as far to be delivered to you. Switching to renewable energy whenever possible is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint. For example, using solar power for electricity and driving an electric vehicle or utilizing public transportation, walking or biking to your destinations instead is great as well. Cutting down on consumption, reusing what you can, and living a more minimalist lifestyle can also greatly help to reduce your carbon footprint in addition, you can stop supporting companies which do not have environmentally friendly policies involved in the production of their products. Again, for a full list of suggestions on how you can help to save our planet, you can head over to our website. Moving into our sports segment for this evening, free agent Kawhi Leonard has officially made a decision on where he will be suiting up. 
the Los Angeles Clippers have secured a 2019 Finals MVP who signed a four-year $142 million contract last night. Leonard kept his free agency airtight with essentially minimal leaks from Kawhi's camp or the teams that he was dealing with. Throughout the week, he spoke frequently with OKC forward Paul George to request a trade and allow the Clippers to move in to nab him up in a trade to pair the two all-stars and make a push for the championship in a wide open Western conference. The new duo has been on multiple all defensive teams and the Clippers ranked among the best in defense last year. The addition of these players will add some much needed offensive progress while buffing up their defensive identity and become a front runner for the 2019-2020 NBA season. Well, after Canada Day and 4th of July celebrations last week, some may want to keep the party going, and there is no better way to do so than by attending our annual summer music festival taking place this coming weekend. Some of the country's best talent will be performing in the town square and there is sure to be something for everyone in the entire family. Lots of food and drinks, lots of music and games for all ages will be taking place. Happening this weekend, this event will be the talk of the summer, so be sure to get your tickets right away. To do so, you can head over to our website and purchase your tickets. Well, that is everything that we have for this evening. My name is Anna, and you have been watching ASMR Nightly News. You can check out GB's regularly scheduled programming right after this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.